Hi, Sagittarius. Okay, so we start off with the Six of Pentacles. And with the Six of Pentacles, this card, uh, we see a well-dressed merchant or this gentleman who is um, handing out some coins to one of the persons on, on their knees. And this suggests that he's in a position to be able to give and to be generous and to be compassionate and to think of others. He has the uh, scales in his left hand. And so he's choosing who he is going to help out. And so this is a card of um, two perspectives. The perspective is of the merchant, someone who is willing to give of their time, their money, or perhaps of service to others. And then from the perspective of the two people uh, beneath him, who are really on their knees and, the, and, are, and are asking for help. So for you, who do you uh, see yourself? Are you in a position where you are able to help others with your time, maybe by volunteering? Um, are you able to donate some money? Are you able to help organize a charity event? But there's a lot to be said for giving and how it feels and helping others when they need help. On the other side, if it's someone, um, if, if you feel that you need help and you're, you're in a tough spot, then it's okay to ask for help. People want to help. People often are willing to help. But they'll never know unless you ask. And if you're specific, I really could use a hand here. And this is a card of, you, of hopefully that you get what you need. You carefully get what you need to get you back on your feet. And there's no harm in asking for help when you need it. You know, people, uh, I think at their best, all want, uh, all want to provide some assistance and to help. So really, this is a, a card of, of generosity and of charity and, you know, also of the have and the have-nots, the very clear um, situation of, of those two opposites. And if you are in need of help, there are local community organizations that are you know, wanting to help people who need a little extra assistance. Along with this six, we have another six. Interestingly, we have um, the six of, of wands. And we see this gentleman who is riding in on his horse. He's wearing a, a wreath. He has a wreath on the wand. And he's riding in to... Uh, people here watching him carefully. This is a card of success. This is a card of reaching your goals. You will have success and recognition in July. You will be noticed for your efforts and your hard work. Whether this is at the office and you get a bonus or a raise, a promotion, uh, maybe just a nice shout out in the uh, weekly meeting, team meeting. But this is for you to, to uh, take your victory march. Now other, people's are wa other, people, other people are watching you and um, perhaps are hoping to be like you and want to learn from you. And so they're kind of here standing here saluting and, and watching. But this is a card about success and reaching your goal and having the recognition for doing a good job. So enjoy what that is bringing to you. We also see the Page of Wands. So we have a lot, so we have some wand energy today and for the month of July. And this page is young and 
pages and court cards represent either qualities or attributes that can benefit you, or they could actually represent people in your social circle, someone uh, who's youthful or someone who's just starting out, could also represent news. But the Page of Wands is the enthusiasm and the fire and the desire to learn and to do things, to be creative. Because wands are about creativity and passion. And so this is a call to you to, to find your passion and to do something with it. Get out there and uh, explore and learn and take lessons if you want to learn how to play golf or guitar and um, you know put yourself around other people who are more successful perhaps who can help guide you. But this is about uh, the exploration and the path to becoming more experienced and perhaps this is whether it's your career, but this is a finding the enthusiasm and the desire to create and to fulfill and to manifest and to make it happen. And, and we'll see more of that here that we that's very present in this reading for you in July. And along with the Page of Wands, we have the Nine of cups. And the nine of cups, we see this gentleman sitting here on his chair in front of a blue curtain with all of his cups lined up behind him. And he's pretty grateful for all that abundance because this card represents abundance. Everything that uh, he has, he's worked for and he probably has. So he has material comfort. And he may uh, feel pretty proud of himself and pretty content. You can see his, his arms are crossed. He's slightly smiling. It's a card of contentment. It's also a card that's referred to as the wish card. And so when this turns up in a reading, it's uh, go ahead and, and make your wish because more than likely it will come true. It may come true. So, you know, I it's... Uh, it's certainly possible, that's for sure. And along with the thinking with this card, it's always just the one cautionary note is to be careful for what you wish for. If you wish for a lot of things in life and a lot of uh, physical or material items and you, you get them and then you enjoy them for a bit and then after a while they kind of end up in the closet or end up in the garage... Take note of that because sometimes it doesn't, the material items and the stacking and the collecting doesn't result in your fulfillment. In your, you think, gee, I thought I would be happier if I had that. So just be careful with what you wish for. And uh, often, you know, it's the experiences and it's the relationships that we have and the love that we share that makes us feel content. So the thinking is always um, have big dreams and wishes for what you hope for, but be uh, mindful that just because if you're wishing for, you know, more material success, it may not bring you fulfillment. It may not bring you uh, spiritual depth. So that's just something to be aware of. Okay, and then... Later in July, you know, there's a situation and there's a call for balance and some moderation. So this is a, we see this person here is, is, um, is pouring the water from one cup to the other, has dipped a toe in the water. And it's very simple. It's about being moderate in your approach and having balance, and using all of the elements of fire, earth, water, air, and coming up with the right mix so that you don't feel um, taxed or in the extreme of one, you know, one <clears throat> corner or the other. With 
This card is, a, is also a suggestion for you to listen to your spirit guides or your angels that they're looking out for you and they're hoping to help as well. But this is a chance for you to just take some time and maybe uh, balance. Maybe that means going to the spa or just taking a day off and relaxing and doing something that is um, going to be restorative for you and to bring you some healing and perhaps. But temperance is about doing things in, in moderation and having balance between your spirit, uh, the physical world, uh, you know, your career, family, uh, all things. Find, find some balance in July. And finding balance of putting it all together with work and with family and which, if you have children, if you have hobbies, if you have commitments, you also have to take time to be um, thinking forward. And when we see an ace in a reading, an ace is a gift or an opportunity from the universe. It's a right here, the hand is handing you this wand. And for this ace of wands, which is, you know, got some wand energy here, some very enthusiastic, passion, passionate, fire energy for you. And the wand here is saying, go forth and create. Manifest something. Go uh, follow your, your heart of what you want to learn how to do. But it's a sense of you have an opportunity to be creative and to, um, you know, just get out there and do it. If you've had something inside that you've been holding off on doing, July would be a good time to get out there and to uh, take advantage of what the universe is handing to you, which is the wand of enthusiasm, of desire to, to, uh, to find new avenues that are going to make you happy. Perhaps you want to manifest <laughs> a new relationship, well, or, you know, make or improve your existing relationship. We have here the lovers, and in this illustration we see two naked lovers who are standing below the angel, He's kind of looking down and blessing them. We have the mountains in the background, and, and this is a card that suggests of, of a loving potential that's serious in your life, and that you're coming to a decision uh, that's going to have impact. So if you're involved in a relationship, July could be a month where you're having the discussions with your partner about, are we going to move in together? Are we going to become exclusive? Are we going to uh, think about getting engaged? Are we going to get married? But this is finding passion and deep love and two halves becoming a whole and unifying. This is a significant relationship and really when we see the lovers it's a case of is this a relationship that's going to last or is it going to turn into something else where we're not quite certain where it's going to go so uh you know with with the nine of cups and the success here it seems like it's going to be favorable um, if you're in a relationship for it becoming more solid, more stable, more uh, life changing, long lasting depth with this relationship. If you're single and you're hoping to meet someone, you have the opportunity in July as long as you put yourself out there and as long as you um, uh, try to meet people and try to find those with similar interests and it's always a great way to start if you're single and hoping to to uh, meet someone that could be a potential life partner husband or wife that uh, you know if you love to play softball you know join a softball team you never know who you meet 
If you are interested in the arts and museums, join a meetup group that has, um, you know, weekly events. But you have to put yourself out there in order to benefit. You have to really um, uh, put out the vibes to the universe that you want and that you're ready to find a partner. And when you're ready and when your partner out there is ready, the universe typically will provide. And along with this lovers is we have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups, you could be meeting someone who is, is this emotional, fabulous kind of person who is loving, kind, caring, concerns, has concerns of others, you know, is very empathetic. You know, this can be someone who is an established leader, but someone who really um, has authority, but in a very kind and considerate fashion. So perhaps you're going to meet someone who has these qualities. Perhaps these are, it's calling for you to reveal more of your heart and to open up your emotions and to let your emotions flow and to um, uh, just put your emotions out there and you never know what people will, will see or notice from you, you know, or come back to you. You know, when you are able to be vulnerable and to be open, you know, that uh, people respond to that. They can see authenticity. They can see realness and... Uh, you know, again, it puts you in a position to meet people who can change your life for the better. So let me just take a look here at what we have, if I've missed anything. But, you know, it's, you have an opportunity for, for being charitable. And if you need help, then ask for help. You're going to have some success, career family, whatever it may be, people are going to recognize you. Enthusiasm is a thread within this of the wand, fire, and passion, and creativity. Go out and create, and follow, your, follow something that really makes your heart happy. Emotions, let your emotions come out, and your wish, and balance, and the potential for deepening love, or finding love is here in July. So I'd like to um, uh, I'd like to pick another oracle card to get some additional guidance for the month and to see Aquarius what we can share and uh, let me see if I can get one of these out. Live from your heart. And this is the Soul Trees Oracle. They're really beautiful cards. And I think this ties in really nicely with the King of Cups. The Nine of Cups, which is live from your heart, which is let your heart shine, let this muscle in your heart explode and to Bring it, bring forth to everyone around you. Be giving, be loving, be aware, be self-aware, and you know you'll get you'll get love back to you in many many ways. And it's love to all beings, you know, animals, uh, insects, everything. Be loving, and you will get the love back. And speaking of living from your heart. And uh, having love in your life, let's just look one more thing here to get some clarification on love for your reading. I'm having a hard time with the cards today. Dealing with the cards. Okay. Look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So we have to learn from our mistakes, and that's true. And we have to look at what's worked and what hasn't worked and, and what's made us happy in relationships. 
and it's a, uh, you might have an ideal of what you want. You may have this uh, big dream of how it should be. But relationships at ground level are, are challenging and they require a lot of work sometimes and compromise. Other relationships seem to just flow and don't require as much work and, and you're the judge and you're, you have to know how you, um, how you are in a relationship. Are you giving? Are you uh, helpful? Are you, you know, grateful? And you treat your partner and your loved one with um, appreciation and that they know how you feel and how you stand. So I think this is just a nice, gentle reminder to examine how you are in relationships. Have you uh, kind of um, been your own worst enemy, you know? Or have you uh, tried your best and just things haven't worked out? Have you been attracted to people maybe who uh, you, you're picking the same type over and over. So uh, just think about that and, uh, you know, go from there. But I think it's a very wonderful month for you in July. And I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a great way to stay connected. And I have daily readings and I do just monthly readings as well. So I hope you have a super time and check back again. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.